Police in Ohio are facing tough questions after they conducted a raid that for a variety of reasons appears to have been poorly managed and that might have left a baby injured according to the baby's family, although the police is now disputing that. So according to the mother, the police raided the wrong house and when they released flashbang devices, they caused burns and trouble breathing for her child. We have a bit of the body cam footage of the raid, take a look at this. Get her back and out, get her back and out. Get off that shield, get that shield, get that shield in. I'm busy and I'm not from here. Oh my god. Mommy, I got it. My baby's in there with me later. How old? He's 17 month old. Okay. 17 month old. Uh, so you can hear a little bit of uh, what was going on there in that uh, video. Now the mother, Courtney Price says that she has ring camera footage that shows, or at least you can hear the cops acknowledging that they're at the wrong address. They dispute that um, and they dispute who is actually speaking on this footage, which we unfortunately don't have. But what you do see in that video is a massive group of armed and arbored cops. It looked like they were trying to take down Captain America or something. The number of people that were there, what did they think was going to be in the house? They wait mere seconds, maybe 10 seconds if we're being generous before breaking down the door and the windows. And there you do see this, the, the flash and the smoke of flashbangs, which they apparently think are just, they're just fun time fireworks you could throw in there. But no, they have started fires, they have injured and mutilated. Uh, it, it actually kids in prior cases as well. This is a known risk and still being used in cases where they're apparently not even at the right place or at least not the right place at the right time. Because the search warrant that was issued was for a person who hasn't lived at the home in more than a year. Um, Courtney Price said she learned police had visited the home at least five times within the past year saying the landlord even told police that she had new tenants. So look, they apparently from the side of the tenant and the landlord did everything they could to avoid this sort of problem. Um, but unfortunately, the, the cops are saying they, they waited a reasonable amount of time, um, 10 seconds, a reasonable amount of time. I want you to think, what if you were laying in bed and somebody yelled something? You'd be scared, you might be bewildered at what to do. 10 seconds will pass mighty fast. And the second it passes, flashbangs are blowing up in your house, your windows and your door are being knocked down. How are people supposed to respond to that? We have more, but Viviana, what do you make of this? I just watched um, Merrick Garland talk about the failures of the Uvalde police. And then I see something like this and I'm just like, what is happening with the p policing in this country? It's like, they argue that they need more funds, but they're clearly not training anybody. They're not doing their homework before they go and, and throw a grenade of sorts into a home where they have no idea who's in there. They think who they're looking for might be in there, even though if they've done their homework, which they sound like they did a little bit of it, they found out they weren't living there. So it's just mind boggling that we have this scenario where children are being hurt from too much aggression. And then we have Evaldi where they're just sitting there with their thumbs up their butts and people are being massacred in front of them. So it's like, this is like such a, a, a gap of like protecting the community. Like, I don't understand mm -hmm. how no matter where we are in the country, police are failing at a massive rate. And it is quite frightening because we put a lot of you know, uh, of uh, effort into and money into our policing. And then this is the kind of thing that's happening. And then they backtrack, oh, we didn't do it, we did it. Just say what it is, if you mess up, that's okay. I mean, it's yeah, not I, okay, but be honest. No, no, it's not okay. Uh, I, I, taking some responsibility is I think should be a very human thing, but, uh, but that's not what you're getting here. Now, there's this back and forth about whether it was the flash bang that did damage to the child or whether the child is just experiencing 
pre-existing conditions. The mother has said that he had inflammation of the lungs, irritation of the lungs, a chemical reaction in and around his eyes. Um, the police say any allegation allegation suggesting the child was exposed to chemical agents, lack of medical attention or negligence is not true. Which look, that's the sort of thing that cops say before there's more investigation, more media attention, and then they have to come out and say something else. Yeah. So they're they're gonna cover their asses. I don't know. I don't know 100%. What I would know is what I would say is um, is throwing a flashbang into a house better than throwing a grenade? Yes. Is this call of duty? No, it's still a weapon. It is an explosive. It can start fires. It can injure people. And unfortunately, like with tasers and other forms of non-lethal weaponry, they apparently think, well, if it's technically not non-lethal, I guess I can do whatever I want and there will be no consequences. But that is unfortunately not how the real world works. And I don't like that we have now a genre of news stories of children being flashbanged by the police. That's the sort of thing that should never happen, or at the very least once is a cautionary tale, but not in America. It's now just a part of the news cycle. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is, so you don't miss anything.